Hello everyone. Welcome to Panther School and welcome you all to video training series of Salesforce CPQ. I am Abhishek Misra and I, uh, today we will discuss about that. What is the code template and how it is working in the Salesforce CPQ. So, so today's agenda is that what is the code template, how we can create the code template, what is template content, what is the template section, how it is working in there, what is the uh, how we can uh, support it if there is a relationship between uh, between there. So how we can create the relationship between two objects in the in the code templates. And we also have go through that what is the line columns, what is the code terms if you have a in your org, what is the, if there is a terms and conditions section is there so how we can deal that that part uh code documentation management so we can go through that one so uh while uh, after clicking on the generate proposal how it is working on that part okay we will go through one by one on that part so our first topic is the what is the code template so at the uh our first topic is the code template. So how it is uh, dealing with that? Okay. So code template is a Salesforce uh, CPQ is provide the out of box functionality of the coding functionality that allow the Salesforce to customize the uh, code PDF means while uh, giving the sales engineer uh, to the customers, we also have the functionality to customize the pdf of that one if suppose that if you want to add some columns some discount columns and in the code template in the while giving the customer to sign the document so how we can perform these things okay a professional looking professional and can be generated by few clicks and by merging the data from the customizer template okay so we don't have so much doing doing the functionality uh, only clicking on the button generate proposal you see the template is showing up and uh, you can customize your template also you can perform the things also okay so in the code template you can take an example uh, that uh, the customer who purchased the subscription product and subscription based product uh, then you will see the subscription how much subscription discount is there and if the customer is the uh, non subscription uh, if the customer want, want uh, buying the non subscription then we will see the special section so this type of things uh, you can uh, easily uh, go by using the uh, code template and in the code template we have a related objects called as template sections template line column and uh, in the template sections we also have a template content how the actual content of the data is there there is uh, some key concept you always remember in that while uh, creating a code template of that one the formatting and organization of the code uh, document ca are controlled by the code template means the actual uh, formatting what is that one so it will always controlled by the code template object okay and uh, content of the record uh, if suppose that if you are applying some uh, signature fields and uh, terms and condition can be customized in the code template section okay you have, if you applied some terms and condition of that one so it will be customized in the code template sections only is okay a uh, given template that contains uh, any number of section in order this section can be used by multiple templates so if you define a template section okay if you define a uh, any section any line groups uh, so it will be utilized in multiple template it's not a specific one so it will you can also use that section in the multiple templates also the actual information of the template of the, uh, the actual information of the section is uh, is stored in the template content means you can see in this object you will see the actual uh, content of the data or uh, means actual content of that one okay and uh, this is all what i discuss now so okay so what is the line column so the line column is the code template can be organized with column uh, represent the code lines of that one means what is that code line see what product you selected there so it is a code line column 
so this column is our helper for showing the important fields value of the code documents means it will showing always the important for what fields you need to show there either you want to show that uh, discount uh, percentage of that particular discount is showing or not so it will be coming in that object itself line columns can be created from line column related to the code template records means line column is always created related to the code template this means it's a related object of the code template example you can take an example of that one so a code template have the two columns suppose that so the quantity of the line item whereas another pricing is that so how you can achieve these things by using the line column of that one you can create the line uh, column of that so we have a few fields like the alignment display order field name roll up sex Rule up is that one is all about that how we can perform the roll up summary fields of that one. So you can uh, use the roll up fields of that one. A particular uh, amount is calculated and showing up that total amount from that field. So uh, means in basis of customization and all the things you can achieve by using this then that one. Okay. Code template. Uh, so uh, okay uh, because uh, in this session only we will discuss more on the temp uh, the theoretical part but i will also show you that uh, how we it look like in the salesforce apq so in the salesforce apq application itself you can go to the code template in this one now uh, we already have a uh, uh, one template is created in our train in this org i mean uh, when you install this package this is already created so so for new ones you always go to the new ones and fill the required fields of that one then uh, it will be working in such a manner so uh, i will do later ones but uh, i will explain you in this template how it is uh, looks like to you okay so what is that oh okay and i will tell you that i already tell you that line columns we have uh, sections additional documents so we have a related objects here. so firstly we will go to the one by one firstly what is the template name template name is what is uh showing up that so you can define the template name here so after that it is at the in development stage or deployed stage so we have a two fields if you deploy the change in production so you will deploy these things okay default uh defaults if you check this as a default then what is the default uh means this is the automatically selected when you click on generate proposal this is the uh or default value of that one okay generate a name is there and watermark id so you will create a watermark on that one uh, so how you will uh, do these things let me go to the classic first okay so so how you will go to that one so this one wait a second let me go to the classic first okay so go to the classic and all tabs wait a second please in the all tabs go to the uh, documents in the document itself quotes mm -hmm. okay. only new document what uh sf panther school watermark okay in the code folder itself okay no issue so let me update the this one okay upload click on save you will give the id of this one suppose it okay you will copy this id and paste here watermark id paste here okay this is id you can define here okay in the watermark okay now what next so we have a generate name what is the name of the document while generating that once so here it will be showing you guys the price information of that one uh page information of that what is the width what is the height of that one what is the total up top margin left margin so you will play uh with your own that how it is looks like okay 
and after that uh you always you also see these things uh means header content what is the header you will define this you will exclude the header of that one if you want to exclude something suppose that uh, you were defining some content here so come from click on content you have see this lots of uh things we need to define so on the top of the header how it looks like you will create in such a manner okay after that, uh, we have, if suppose that uh, you will uh, create a header such a manner that you will some exclude the things, means only include the header on the top of the first of the page, on the last of the page, of the first and last of the page. What is the header height of that one? What is the exclude page? How are you creating the, uh, means what template, same manner you need to uh, do the same manner of the things also. What is the footer section? What is the footer? What is the agreements? If you have a sub suppose that terms and condition is there, suppose that in every organization we have a separate separate terms and condition is there. So you also define a static value here also, and we also have a uh, object called code terms from there. We also use their that term ones. Okay, and the C you also have a company name is there, so we can update this company name to SFDC Pan. Okay, Panther School. Panther school. We will uh, update to Panther school here. And what is the company uh, company slogan? If suppose that if uh, in Panther school, uh, the, our slogan is that learning and growing is there. So uh, mean anything you can uh, do right here as per the company name is there. So learn, learn. okay. So we have a slogan, what is the company city is there? What is the company state? So you also define all the things here also. We can, if you want to, you will remove these things. You will define your own customer phone and all the things you will define here also. Okay. And suppose that, uh, so if you want to, so we also define the Panther uh, email ID here, company email ID. And what is the state? What is the country? What is the pin code of that one? So all the things you will define in the corporate information. Okay. So we will give her this one, this one, and page information we covered. A styling. A styling information is all about that. How you uh this is uh is either this format or the what format you are using that uh, that one. How we are uh, doing in this thing in the uh in this. In the uh, word template, so same manner we also define the styling. What is the font size here? What is the color of your uh, setting color? Is that in the back and background color? What is that one? And uh, what is that? Suppose that I will update uh, this color to this one. We also do uh, do something. Tom body is there. What is the um, border color? Is there? What is the border color of your what is the text color of your so you will perform with that one same manner okay so a styling information is done one so group family so same manner if you are creating a group send and all the things so you can play with that one also we can create a group send and also we are de defining the styling and all the things here how many gaps between the groups uh, means uh, how many padding size uh, means gap uh, between the two groups is between there. So how many this uh, gaps is we are defining on the like on the page of that one. So this is all about one. So section title, what is the section title? What you need to define if you suppose that if you are creating any section is there, what is that? So let's suppose that uh, SF DC Panther. I will define here. What is the note of that section? What is the if it is discount level and all the things? So we will uh, do such a matter of that one. I told you now that this session is all about the theoretical one. So um, now print option. Print option is showing that if you are grouping by product family or if you are grouping by sub product family or what is the group or subgroup is there. What is the roll up? Suppose that if your roll up is using it there, so what is the total of quantity? Suppose that total quantity you are showing in the last of that one. So how it is working of that one? Same manner is there here. It is working. 
if you are showing the hide the customer discount partner discount if you want it so it's the same manner you were defining this thing. it's up to you guys if you want to show the list price total this net total regular total what you want to suppose that if you are a customer want to i want to see the net to subtotal amount of that one so we will see this total field is all about the what is the total amount of that which is either net total amount or is the customer total amount or the list total amount so what is that in the page we are saying this thing so this is all about the uh this uh, uh this one uh, uh code templates once click on save okay and now uh go to the code templates now we can see this thing in the code how we did some we are updating the logo mark and some uh many uh, things we are performing that one so we will see that okay this is working as expected or not when you click on generate document you see there is something coming up here wait a second please so we, you see these things uh, from here by default uh, um, is not checked here so it is uh, asking uh, the generating documents so you see training sample is coming up default value is there i will check these things and preview let me click on the preview first and you uh, document name uh, valid things is there so this is showing that invalid ones so let me check one time one more time what is that one wait a second please so for this one we how we are dealing with that one let me copy okay oh, sorry that id is not correct one so we need to update the correct id here we are uh, not updating the correct id that time so let me generate the proposal again then you can see this thing cancel and generate proposal review okay so you see these things here in the top panther school is coming up and you see some changes i performed here but uh, our logo is watermark is not coming here okay let me show you the how of the watermark is working in the quote itself uh quote itself there is a field called watermark watermark so if you check this checkbox click on save and now generate document preview then in the back end watermark is showing up means he generally it is a so i guess we are uh, we did something wrong uh, logo document id okay let me check here i guess we need to let me check again so click on cancel and generate proposal or preview documents let me check the for the preview document and okay preview why it is showing error for watermark somewhere is there watermark so i will uncheck this checkbox and then again i will check these things let me check that part later after that one okay again why it is showing bad request okay i will check that uh, issue later once okay because i'm thinking that something we are doing something wrong but this is the step from where you are you will define the watermark and all the things from here 
and then let's click on save and preview proposed document. Okay, I'm assuming that I did something wrong, so that's the reason. You uh, Panther School Learning. So you what you define there? So same manager is working. Okay. Now come to the second part. Uh, so this is uh, from here. Uh, I guess something I'm doing something wrong. But somewhere you need to define the ID of that one to uh this one. Okay. Wait a second. It's uh edit properties. It's uh active. External, external, external. Okay, let me check again. One more time, I will check. Then I will uh, not. Then I will do later this part. I will do later part this one. Okay, and preview document. I guess. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, sorry. Actually, now I didn't in the checkbox. I didn't select this one, so that's the reason it is not showing up here. So I updated the complete logo of that one, and it will be. Uh, you can see this thing in the when the preview, it will be popping up. But I will also open in the next page here. Mm. Let me download these things and up. Uh, show you here and. How it looks like so this is the way that you see this these things i updated and panther school i updated here you also update the email id pass on uh, this address and all the things so this is all about fun okay now come to the second part of that one so code template content what is the code template content is all about to so to see the actual uh, uh means what is the actual data is showing up here so you can see that part also on the code template okay in the code template is uh, uh is the co uh, dynamic coding function that allow the sales reps to customize the code pdf means this uh, it's allow the sales rep to customize the no or oh, the pdf also of the of the things okay so Salesforce CPQ uh, contained store the specific data that uh, that can be displayed on the sections of format. So text can be inserted in the code section and uh, and a user have a sev several various of this content layout which can be in that. Way. So if suppose that uh, how we can creating the email template in the Salesforce CPQ uh, Salesforce same manner we also have the functionality of the creating a code templates uh code template here also so we have a merging functionality is there and uh directly uploading means image is not uh supported here we need to uh, firstly if you have some images is there you need to firstly upload in the do document folder then we will add that uh, address of that that one okay Merging functionality is there, so it will directly get the data from that object, and then we will perform the merging operation of that one. In the in your code templates, uh, merge fields have uh, formatted like that. This is important uh, feature there. So how would you merging is there? So here you will define the record name dot field name. Replace uh, record name is all your object name. And field name is your what is the field name API name of that field? Okay, so this is this way it is working. If you org have multi uh, currency a uh, multi language a uh, multi uh, language is enabled for that one, so it will be you need to define of the uh, in the pick list value you need to define the uh, API name of that one. Okay, this is all about the code template. Uh, well, let me show you in the also wow. this one. Wow. Ah, uh, template contained. Okay. This one now go to the related ones here. So here, what do you need to define here? All the relationship in the uh, uh, line columns, you will see the all the relationship is there. Okay. What type of if suppose that if the relationship between accounts, so you will define the relationship is there, so you will display order of all the things. So this is nothing but that. What is the uh, 
uh, size, how it looks like, if you are applying some roll up and all the thing. This will be look like in that, that manner. Okay. This one go back and then section. In the section itself, we will create the section here also. So in this one, we have a let's suppose that. Okay. Content is here. So content here, we will define in the what is that in my either in the code terms, custom, in the custom itself, we will define all do all the things. Okay. The custom if you define it. So how it's look like same manner. You also perform the HTML also. You also perform the line item. We also do by using code terms. If you go code terms is also a separate object is there. So you will create a, so let me open the code terms object here also. Code terms. Okay. So how the code terms is working. So if you are uh, terms and conditions, same manner is code terms is working there. So one code terms is C, one code terms is already there. So if you click on new, so it will be ask you that what is the criteria, same which code you do. So it will automatically take us up there. So you will define the order of that one. It is either draft stage or not, or which one. Okay. Let me show you the one code terms here. And then it will be see the bodies looks like in that manner. Okay. So this is a terms and condition. You also define the condition of that one. Okay, in which basis the your code terms is appear. So if based on the particular product, based on the your particular fields, so you also define that one. Okay. So in that one, terms and terms and condition is there. So you will also define the terms and condition of section of that one. Okay. Now in this section itself, we have a different uh uh different fields is there. So how uh yeah got print once no no wait a second here page break no somewhere is there no in this field is not there section uh I clear and um this one is clear, cleared one code template content from there we will define the actual uh, uh data is showing up from that one so we will define that okay so now uh we have a uh, different types of temp uh template content either in the line group uh line item or uh HTML format or code terms, custom, custom, and you all define either in the widget code page or this type of things. You all uh up to you. You can create up that one. But here it's a visual code page is coming up here in this in this one. Okay. Code template section. What is the code template section is uh is working? So it's will uh here it will be defining the a section block of the information and that position and style and that content of the code documents is there. So we will define in the any number of section you can define up there that sex this section is used in the so uh, you can imagine uh you can think in such a manner that if you create a, any template section of that one, how it's like how we grouping is working, same manner you will define of that one. Suppose that you create a code template like uh, that, uh, that, uh, uh, that is a, uh, uh, it will show the contact details only. So you will define, you will create the code template. It will use, not use in this template, code template only. It will also use in the multiple templates, like suppose that any other template that, and like the uh, uh, Panther school or uh, any means template template you are creating. So it will be, it will be working on that one. It will use uh, of that one. A section can be uh, dynamically so on the code template based on the value or conditional print option. So here, so it will be uh, showing in, the, in this section is not showing in the but uh, these things. It will also showing in the conditional printing. The option is there. Uh, here, wait a second. Conditional printing is there somewhere. Okay, conditional printing is there. So based on the some uh okay so on the code template itself it's, it will be showing up that based on the certain condition this template is showing this section is showing this section is showing 
so you can define out that one okay and the uh, this is the template section so you will create some template section as uh, that top content what is the content content you will create here here in the html or a line item code terms code terms is the terms and condition you can define you can also define from there also and you can also define here also okay so hello and then Okay, this is okay. Okay, so this is the template content automatically populated display order this one if you have any conditional printing field what is the based on which primary it it is either primary then it will be showing up you also define your own condition here also okay save then your section will be ready to use you can also just use this section in another code template also okay now CPQ terms. CPQ terms uh, represent the important uh, terms and condition uh, is there. So suppose that if you have a, applying a, some deals that you can define there in that one. So terms and condition, how it is working, same manner is filled. The code terms can be assembled in the uh, block and can be placed in the code term whether it, whenever it is due. So you can define other code term is some condition based on the some certain condition and all the things a code template contains a template content which uh, um, which is type called code terms so from there we also defining that there is some separate condition is there so um, we can define that okay so this is all about so if you have a some uh if you are, have a, some additional document of that one while showing the document of that one if you have some extra document if you there so you also apply some external id and apply there and uh, display order so it will be working in there so currently we don't have so we will uh do not do these things okay so this is overall of that code template so uh code templates is there okay so this is all about the uh code template and uh you can play with that once how it is working so you can uh, use these things okay currently i'm applying some css of that one uh how you play now so same you also drag and drop here to uh, here also quotation if you don't want the quotation here if you want to uh this thing says expiry on you don't want so you can also play with that one also okay so this is all about that uh, code templates. Okay. So thank you all for joining the session. Okay. Thank you.